Yes, our dear brothers and sisters, we are right now in Amoria District, still in Teso Sub Region. Amoria District, in Teso Sub Region. The people are also coming in to express their love. Amoria Sub Region, Amoria District, Teso Sub Region, Teso Sub Region, Amoria, Amoria. Abu! Abu! Amoria! This is our region! Amoria! towns in this area yeah we are in a, a place called Asamok and now we are headed to Amoria town council this is Amoria we have nine kilometers from here to 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 Amoria, and we are headed to Amoria Town Council. Yes. <laughs> nine kilometers to Amoria. Nine kilometers to Amoria. Nine kilometers to Amoria. Amoria. This is Amoria district. As you can see, the roads. This is the situation under which Ugandans live, especially in the isolated areas of this country, and Amoria is one of them. 
when Karamoja yesterday you saw the situation. A police patrol is now trying to corner us. Uh, we don't know what what the motive would be, but they are now joining in, maybe with an intention of disorganizing this trail once again, like yesterday. However, we are going to be bringing you live everything that happens right down here in Amoria. Yes, we are in Amoria conversing for support and votes for the National Unity Platform and its flag bearers right from the President, the MPs and the councillors. Just tune in on Ghetto TV. You'll be getting everything live and follow the Bobby Wine page um, where you'll be seeing some of the live commentaries from this campaign trail. Yes, where you find tarmac, this is what you see. Only one layer and this tarmac costs 3 billion shillings. That is 1 million US dollars. But look at the quality of the roads that are constructed in this country. This country is value for money. And this country is what you can pay for. The asphalt used, the, the layers left for this, all just don't exhibit the quality of money paid by taxpayers in this country. Look at this quantity. A kilometer costs one million US dollars, and that is about three million shillings. Can you really have such a road? It can't be. So the National Unity Platform is promising to change everything for the better of all Ugandans. Robert Chabrani Sentamu is the candidate for the National Unity Platform, and he is saying a must be victory, which victory will be protected, and Ugandans will have the change they have yearned for for over five years and still counting until maybe next year when Museven will have to hand over power to whoever will win him and that should be Chagrain Center. Ugandans have already spoken, they are already speaking in, in the massive rallies that we have seen so far. The people that are coming out to say we are with you Robert Chagrain Center. Oh. Wow, Kasukali Keko was translated into languages of Teso sub region. You can hear the lyrics of all the districts of this region, and people are saying Kasukali Keko in their languages of Atesot. So these are the living conditions of the people of Amoria. This shouldn't be life in this modern era, in this modern age of 2021, of 2020. This century deserves to give Ugandans the best life like that lived in the upper global north of this world. That is west, the West and, the, and maybe in, in, in Europe. We can afford this. All the taxes that we pay, most of them stolen and others dubiously used, can make people afford better lives. Just look at these lives the people are living in these areas. National Unity Platform is saying it is here to change everything for the better. This land you see here is uncultivated, but people would like to cultivate it and use it. However, whoever plans for it just wants to grab it 
and use it for their own benefit. Is that really what should be done by leaders? No. The nationalist platform is saying the time for change is now. The time for change is now. Look at the road that was tarmacked. This is tarmac. Only one single layer. One single layer for a kilometer of three billion shillings, one million US dollar. That is the standard of Ugandan roads. We all pay taxes, tuning to one billion shillings. Oh God, really? And then we get such quality of, of roads. At this size, the width of the road and the layer, you have potholes when the road has just been constructed. This is all going to change when the National Inter Platform comes into power. And of course, no one, no one will stop the momentum of this revolution as it takes its course under the guidance and leadership of the National Inter Platform presidential flag bearer Robert Chagrin Sintamu, Elias Bobby White. This is our flag bearer. Let's have a chat with him. Hello. Yeah, I want to talk to the people. Tell them who you are. And you need to talk to them. Yala man noy noy. Ate kere kere yoga noy emuri akoliye. Tomo kilo wa inyare risongo e sogunelison. La jago kapa MP Orugo County. Ale mare General Jeje Odongo, Minister of Internal Affairs. Yala man sono noy narai lolo adolo e present work. Honorable. His Excellency Honorable Chagulani Robert Sentamu. I am Uganda. I am a Julakina. Nene Jay Uganda. Ronapu, a right one, a Polok, Remodong Jos, Gesaja Saipugani. Yet, a journey, a Tora Chokiso, a Chokiso no Lutetak. It got on a Tungalu of Moete, a Tungalu, Litetan Are, a Tungala Majatalu, a Mamesi Bokering Are. Era no kisa nyama nya mame podosa Paul mame podosa Shoman mame podosa ade kisa ngale ngini bora kina ne gente be e ya pe kisa paran e kolosa nyam otu anyama olo sete anyu na suban so yala mango no ateker era ona re ne Paul ne jaitu ngalo rungo tonga la Muria tonga lo Teso tonga lo Katakwi tonga kere lo Soroti Teso ke mora Teso kere anyu to ke tonga nan oke present Robert Chagulani Sentamu akweta da kwet iwa yude sambrela Ukwenda sa kweta, umbrella ni semor kitoni. E yala mano noi, e yala mano la suano je kero ni kere. E yala ma, that's the man obe. E yala mano noi, polo yala mota unoi noi. Thank you so much. Today it has been really a very good day for us here in Amuria district, particularly in Orungo County. We are together with our president, the Honorable Robert Chagulani Sentamu. By names I'm called Esogu Nelson. An aspiring member of parliament for Olungo County, again is General JJ Odongo, Minister of Internal Affairs. We are really very happy because today in this era, the, wrong, the young generation are rising up to take up the responsibilities of this nation. These old people, they have ruled us with a, with a, with a lot of problems. We have been ignored. We have been, we have been under dictatorship. We no longer have a voice in Uganda. We no longer have a voice as the people of Uganda. But today, at this moment, 2021, we the people of Uganda, we have a chance. Let us vote for people power. Let us vote for our president. Let us support our candidates that are under national unity platform so that we can see a new Uganda, a Uganda is compressed of responsible citizens that love their nation. As our motto says that for God and my country, not for God and my stomach, not for money and my stomach and my family. We are not working for our families, but we are working for this nation. We are working for a great nation. As, as the motto, as the motto you says that for God and my country, it is either for God and my country or for your stomach and money. So we need a new generation. Let us all come together and realize this dream and realize this this mandate that is before us. I believe with God all things are possible and the future belongs to us. Let us all come together for a new Uganda. God bless you. God bless you so much. As you can see in Oruba County in Amuria District, we are the epicenter of poverty. We are at the epicenter of an under and development. We don't have good roads. We don't have good schools. As you can pass, you, you walk kilometers and there are no schools. You walk kilometers and there are no hospitals. 
We don't have graduates. We don't have people, diploma holders. The education has just rotted. Road network is so poor. We are just behind. We are moving backward and no longer forward. It is, it, it, it is to this cause that we are ready with all our lives to, repar, to liberate our nation. Let us all stand together, all the youth and all the elders. Give us your device, give us your wisdom, so that we can take over from you. I am so grateful and uh, I really bless God for this day. For God and my country, Emuria Koliai, Ayalamanonoi, Ayalamanonoi. Wow, that's one of the leaders of the National Inter Platform in Teso Subregion, Amoria District. He is standing against the general, General Jeje Odong, one of the old chaps of the Bush War. And he is saying he's determined more than ever to have him out of that seat. Can you imagine? Young people are saying we are brave enough to us this government and they are led by a very young person that is Robert Chagula in St. Amo. and of course victory is in their sight. Ghetto TV live thank you for watching Ghetto TV your brothers and sisters we are on course to Amoria a few kilometers from here we shall be in the main town of Amoria district but like I told you look at the roads these are new roads this is the infrastructure that is paid for by the taxpayer however there is no value for money. You can imagine, a kilometer costs three billion shillings. That's one million US dollar. But this is the layer that is constructed in Uganda. Can you imagine? Potholes after a few months that a road is constructed. Poverty is impoverishing, is devastating areas like Amuria, areas in Teso sub region. And the National Inter Platform is saying everything must change come 2021 yeah i'm with my brother Den City. he's also part of the team that is giving company to this uh, campaign trail and he is the flag raiser he has always been so strong and so relentless and always uh, so determined to keep the flag high the ugandan flag high even in this in the turbulent situations under which we work and of course everyone is so so determined to lead this revolution it's a revolutionary election like everyone says and it is here to bring change fundamental change change that is oh <laughs> fundamental change that everyone yearns for in this country over 60 years uganda has never had peaceful transition of power from one government to another. We had the regime of Obote and Kawaka Mtesa too, which never ended well during that KY alliance. We had the regime of Obote one being overthrown by Idi Amin in the 70s. We had the regime of Idi Amin being overthrown by the Israelites and the Tanzanians in the 70s, still 79. We had, it, we had um, Obote coming back. His second term was full of turbulence then. We had President Seven waging war with all other uh, militias, the UNLF uh, and, and all those other, other, other rebel groups that came up against Obote. Then Uganda had to suffer in a period of war waged by Museveni in the Luelo bushes during all the times until 1986 when Uganda thought it had gotten a savior. That was Museveni, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni who has now turned into the enemy of the people. Those are not my words. Those are words of his opponents. And I'm saying they are determined to change peacefully from his system, which is seen as a system of tyranny, to the system of a pro-people service, a pro-people leadership in a new Uganda, as promised by the National Unity Platform. Thank you for tuning in. Ghetto TV, I'm your boy Kassiri Ashraf Saifullah. We are broadcasting live from Amuria district and we are headed to Amuria main rally where we're going to be addressing people and Robert Chagra in St. Amun is sending a message that this time the victory must be saved, the victory must be guarded by the voters themselves in conjunction with United Forces of Change. The National Inter Platform is holding its second rally of the day in Amuria district and the day will be closed in Soroti district.
This is the Sosab region. Like we've told you, it's one of the most impoverished areas of this country. The one of the most devastated areas of this country. One of the most forgotten areas of this country. And you can't believe everyone here is just languishing in poverty. While very many people, very few people, like one percent or ten percent at maximum of this country's population are enjoying the entire national cake at their own will and no one else is speaking up against them except Robert Chagrin Setam and the leadership of the National Unity Platform. Thank you for keeping tuned in. We are so glad. We are headed for the rally, second rally of the day in the district of Amuria and you will be hearing what this gentleman has to tell these people. He has already laid out his manifesto, but many people would like to see him tell them exactly what is in that manifesto. Although he does it in a summary, here at Ghetto TV, we always bring you the details of the things that he talks about and what people here have to say. Those are the houses that people of Amuria live in. A district that has a full minister, JJ Odong, the Minister of Internal Affairs, he has done nothing to help his people. Oh God, can you imagine? Electricity is here, but people are not consuming it. Oh, that happiness. That happiness when the president of the National Independent Platform comes out to say hello to his people. They are filled with the happiness. A few kilometers to the district, to the main rally of the National Unity Platform of today in Amoria. The people have electricity going through their houses, but they can't consume that electricity because it is so expensive. You can see the poles, they're just passing through houses, but people can't consume it. Why? Because the prices are so high. The prices are so high, these people have no hospitals, these people have no functioning education systems. These people are not integrated into the main population. They are just isolated. And the National Report from is saying it's here to change the status quo. The 34 year old status quo is going to change with the coming of the National Unity Platform. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm not speaking Luganda just because uh, my brother on the other end of the broadcast is using Luganda and I'm using English here. We are entering the main town of Amoria. These are the people that are just impoverished. These are the people that are so happy to yearn and wait for change. They have yearned for in over 35 years. They haven't seen any change of leadership. All other countries are changing leadership. These people have always had Museveni, Museveni, Museveni. And right now, they are saying change must come their way. can't imagine the people are asking. Yes, this is Amoria district. Like you can see, the situation is so appalling. 
but people are just ready for change. God. Can you imagine? This is a Moria district. The people of this area feel so isolated, feel so neglected, feel so forgotten, but they have hope in the coming of Robert Chagrin Center Moon. We are entering Amoria district, one of the most impoverished districts. <laughs> My brother John James is saying, yes, I can imagine. Yes, you have to imagine. You have to imagine. We are fighting for freedom. Yes, That's a young man here who is just moving with his radio phone. Playing Chagulani songs. We are in Amoria district and the momentum is just gaining its ground. The people are just coming in to see and witness the first ever rally by the National Inter Platform in this district. Yeah, the symbol is raised, you can see the candidate of this area is raising the symbol. So please, uh, before you demand for it so hot, uh, uh, relentlessly, you have to know that it's there. It's there, please. Thank you. People are gathering, the people are running to this area to come and see the person they call the Messiah. Coming the national inter platform. This is a bridge one is welcoming the national inter platform. This is a Moria. Thank you. Robert Chakurain Sentamu. 
is bringing a national enter platform in Amoria. The people of Amoria. The police officers are so far peaceful. The police officers are so far peaceful. Look at that to the rally venue in Amoria and although these are some of the most the most remotely located areas people decide you know what NOP stands for The national inter platform is not only in one area of the country. For that, we have to agree, NOP is everywhere in this country, and they're not lying. Yes, my brother here has just alerted us that tomorrow we are in Kumi, Sironkandi, Bali. We hope so. Shall be updating you on where next. <laughs> This is the national.
Federation or Uinta platform showing its visibility in Amoria district in Teso sub region. Showing its visibility in Teso sub region. Get to support us. We need your support. We need to buy 10 gold power banks, and also you can buy them for us and deliver them, please. We shall be so glad. 10 power banks and four phones, and four phones and five phones for us to continue doing this work very well. The trail is still a big one, it's still a long one. Yes, we are headed to, to the rally venue. We are headed to the rally venue. We are headed to the rally venue. This young man wants to start, this old man, a police officer, wants to start shooting tear gas. Amid is in the midst of in the midst of uh, peaceful people, people who are marching just peacefully. Now he's he's backing off because we have leaked cameras into him. Can you imagine? These people are just merciless. He wanted to start shooting tear gas canisters in the people who are just peaceful, and because he saw cameras and is now hiding. Oh God, can you just imagine how merciless and un and 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 violent these people are? We are headed to the rally venue. It's out of the city, but nonetheless, people are running there, and they'll be gathering there to listen to the speech. The people are running to get to the rally venue to listen to the president of the National Unity Platform talking to them. Ah, welcome. 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 Yes. We're sorry in the past. We used to shout in these lives and people were complaining, but we hope things have changed of recent. We are now trying to be as more professional and more and more organized than before. Don't attack us, don't abuse us, please. Always just advise. We shall try to make things better. Please. Thank you. Continue supporting us, our dear sister Daphne Chakunzire is doing the work of gathering the support that comes from you people. We are in Amoria district. These are one of some of the schools in these areas. But like you can see those schools, the education that comes out of them can never be of the quality that every Ugandan would need and yearn for.
Yes. When you charge me because of my expression, see what you're doing to our nation. What are you teaching to this future generation? Yo, our leaders become misleaders and see our mentors become tormentors. Freedom fighters become dictators. They look at the youth and say we are distracted. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. That was a cappella of the message in that song. You're with your boy Kassidi Ashraf Saifullah. I'm right here in Amoria on Ghetto TV, broadcasting to you live. We are headed to the rally venue. To the rally venue. We are headed to the to the rally venue. The people are running to the venue.